All right, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas on the Mysterious JG. You watched at least, you missed at least a video's worth of off screen, uh, just boring inventory stuff. I'll try to do more of that stuff off screen from now on, but, um, as you'll be able to see here, I am now, like, you'll be seeing this little message about stuff being added. This will go on for a long time. I, uh, because it's, it's catching up. I, uh, Went back to the hotel, went through the inventories of myself and my uh, Ed, E, and Victoria, Veronica, I mean, my Ed, E, my Vic Veronica, she's my property, I have a receipt, I won her through a quest, <laughs> no, no, uh, yeah, my, my companions, my traveling companions are nine years old, they're the sons of my first marriage, and I have reason to believe they will be received. Baseline. Actually, no, I went through their inventories, I went through my inventory, I put a bunch of stuff in the safe, I went downstairs, I found where the mailbox is. My carrying capacity for my main character is 200 pounds. You have 200 units of weight, I guess. I had over 1,500 and stuff in that mailbox. So the real secret is I have to sell a bunch of crap that I've been piling up and not using. Then I'll have all the caps in the world. <laughs> so I always feel like I'm right on the edge of not having enough money to do anything. It's because I'm not selling, I'm hoarding everything. I'm not selling everything or anything. So I've now got a safe and you can see it's just going through all this inventory crap. I'll be doing this probably for another hour. But I've got a safe with crazy amounts of stuff in it. We're down to the D's, the E's, the F's, the G's. All of this stuff is now at the safe in Novak. I uh, I, I had some something to eat, I had some dog steaks, uh, I had some water, then I slept for eight hours, and I was hungry and thirsty again, so I had a, just a little bit packaged, so I had like a Nevada something or other fruit, which brought my food almost down to zero, my HEO down to zero. It's about like seven or eight o'clock in the morning, because I, I got eight hours of sleep starting at midnight, so it's actually like almost a normal day, getting up at eight o'clock in the morning after having eight hours of sleep, kind of. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to adventure. Now, I've also got, um, I still, I don't have anything better than the combat armor, and I have nothing I can use to repair it. Uh, I was hoping I could use metal armor to repair it. It doesn't work that way. I also found out that I have a slave scarf, which gives me plus one to per, uh, perception. So I had other stuff that gives me plus one to perception. For weapons, I'm, uh, I'm going to go with that that gun I've got 331 I I have like a uh, surplus ammo that I'm not taking with me because the weight was like over 50 I have like 2,000 units of ammo so I can come back if I run out of ammo and use it and it'll wreck the gun but I can still use it uh, so I've got 300 shots with that gun the cowboy repeater which is a rifle I've got I thought it was a from the name I thought it was like a uh, a pistol. Yeah, repeater's obviously a rifle, so I was being stupid when I didn't pick up on that. Not as stupid as when I didn't pick up on Confirmed Bachelor, but nonetheless, 200 and something shots with a rifle, and the 10 millimeter machine gun, I still got 500. And that's without bringing along all the different weird ammo types. I just got straight up ammo for each, not carrying armor piercing or any other weird variations. And aid wise, I'm carrying everything that has no weight and then a little bit of water. I didn't think I brought any food with me, which I should be. Weapon repair kit. I might want to bring along the caravan lunches in case I get really hungry. I'm well, well rested. And one of these days, I'm just going to take all the aid items, go to a campfire, and cook everything that I possibly can. But for right now, caravan lunch... problem with those is that it takes off so much food. You have to be really hungry before it's even, before you're not being wasteful and using it. I'd have to get my hunger level up somewhat higher. Nagave, Nevada agave fruit, that's what I was using. Anyway, by sleeping for eight hours starting at midnight, I missed the chance to do the little quest that we've got here. But still, so overall, I'm feeling pretty good. Veronica's inventory you're is... You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No, Veronica's inventory has been drastically reduced. She's got her armor... Uh, I, I let her carry around the energy weapons in case she decides to start using them. I had to repair, I had two laser rifles. She was, a, she equipped the one that was in worse condition and doing less damage. So I took them away from her and, 
use my repair skill to give her just one. Matter of fact, she's actually carrying more stuff than she should be. She's not as stripped down. I, I'm carrying almost half my weight capacity, and I feel like I'm not carrying anything really extra. Eddie's carrying absolutely nothing right now. So that's fine. Alright, let's get back to the game. I feel like I should do that quest. I, we really should. This is where, if this is where we're going to live, like, we're idolized at Good Springs. I feel like we should live at some place where people actually really like us, but we're just accepted here. And maybe that's really what we want. We don't want to be someplace where it's like, uh, we're worshipped as gods on the earth. We want to be, we feel more comfortable when people just accept us without really looking up to us too much. So there's Repcom headquarters, uh, and of course I've gotten into Vegas over here. So I could fast travel to here. That's where that person wanted us to go to... Uh, I think they want us to go to Vault 32 or 22 to, to do some quest stuff. But we're going to put that off. I mean, I've been putting off Vegas for so freaking long. I really don't feel like going to Vegas now, honestly, folks, uh, because I'm this sit-down session I'm doing now is going to have to end quite soon. It's uh, it's actually Sunday evening. i got a week's worth of work ahead of me. I shouldn't really get involved in a big, lengthy session. But, um, and I feel like getting going on Vegas when I'll be able to record, like, a bunch of videos in a row. But considering how long it takes me to do anything in this game, uh, getting into Vegas itself might be more than a, a video's worth of stuff, so I can keep going in that direction. So I, I don't, I still don't feel like we got into Vegas proper. Oh, there was actually somebody I wanted to talk to, um, I noticed somebody down here, uh, Manny Vargas. I think we talked to him a long time ago, and I've kind of forgotten who he is. But I saw him while looking for the mailbox, and I didn't want to talk to him in case important plot stuff happened. What's going on, man? Hey, man. See any gang? Were they tough? Me and his wife. We didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Oh, that's right. I was convinced he was going to join us, and he doesn't. Where do you protect your town from? Lately, we've been getting ghouls coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to... Yeah, these ghouls. That seems like it's the start of a quest. But we went to Repcon, and nobody showed up. So maybe there's a random encounter we're supposed to get. And you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. Then something oh, happened. Look at I couldn't handle it anymore. So I enlisted. Earned my future. Brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Yeah, see ya. Yeah, I, just, I keep feeling like there's supposed to be something happening with him that I'm missing. Because I do remember having talked to him. I don't remember it. I didn't remember it in any kind of detail. Well, here's somebody that's just kind of hanging out. Is she the old lady who runs the place? Or You're I think she is. Going all right? Pretty good. You are a pilot? Did you fly for the oh. NCR? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Oh, she's the person I was thinking of as a secret, although actually the person in the junkyard might be too. There's going to come a point much later on where we're supposed to track down some folks who are all part of a group together, and I think she's one of them. But uh, when when that quest part, that, that was something I didn't mean to spoil for myself, but it did spoil while looking for information on something else. So when we get to that that plot, I'll probably give away what I have already know. No, it's probably supposed to be able to hop up over this and save myself some time. I want to go out there and earn some experience before I lose my well-rested bonus. Anyway, uh, we could go Hidden Valley. Repcon test site? Didn't we go to Repcon? Oh, that's Repcon headquarters. Repcon test site something else. Road out west. Ah, here we go. Well, you know, 
I said I didn't want to go to Vegas yet because I don't have enough time in this play session to really get into it, but... Uh, you guys are going to hate me, but we're putting off Vegas again. I'm going to go west. Yeah, the game really wants me to go to Vegas, but... This is, this is what I love about the Fallout games. You have the freedom to explore them and take your time. Bobo actually mentioned uh, that he wants to do Fallout 3, and... Um, my knee-jerk reaction to that was, no, you don't want to do that. I'm already doing Fallout New Vegas. You don't need to do Fallout 3. And, I mean, I thought about it since then. It's like, you know, obviously Bobo doesn't need my permission to LP whatever he wants to. What is going on here? Is this a plot thing? Hey. Oh, it's a Dr. Ada strap? What can I do for you? You could... I don't know, man. You got a big rack covered in blood. It's kind of weird. Can you heal my radiation? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. I do kind of need this, though, and I don't think she costs any more than the guy in Good Springs. This was something that was annoying me. When I was drinking water to get my thirst down, I realized I was almost uh, pushing a new level okay. of radiation. And remember, if this doesn't help, try taking a bath in tomato juice. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? And now I know. Bye. So that was cool. She hasn't paid me anything yet. Should I be worried? Right. Between you and me, I don't think she studied at an accredited institution. Yeah, very bad idea to just go pickpocketing them, but, well, not that bad, I'm sure I can deal with it. But yeah, no, he doesn't need my permission or anything like that, but I was like, I'm already doing Fallout New Vegas, why would you want to be doing Fallout 3? Besides, I... And then it occurred to me, I'm not sure if he's ever actually been through to the end of Fallout 3. I have... Oh, crap. This is an irradiated area. Well, no, no, we got through it anyway. It's like, well, he doesn't need my permission, but, um... And then I thought, hey, the poor guy... And he'll, he'll be watching this, so he can choke about it if he wants to, or comment. It's like, poor guy probably misses, um... Seabot Chronicles, because while that was a more, I think that was more of a relaxing non-linear adventure, this this game can be pretty tense sometimes, but, uh, compared to Seabot Chronicles anyway, but no, I think just the idea that you can go out and do things in whatever order you want, you don't really have to pay attention to the store if you don't feel like it, he just needs, he, he's, he misses getting to LP that, also having something that neither myself nor Red are involved with, he can just, comes home late from work or whatever, he can just LP it when he feels like it. Hold up, Rocketeers. So we're... Are we heading the right way? I think we're going... We're going more south than, uh... Oh, yeah, but the road... The road to the rep contest site goes this way, so this makes sense. It's bothering me that I can't see what these... Feral ghouls. Okay, well, that's kind of what they said. And shoot him up. I gained karma. Oh, and since I know these guys are feral, I guess it's okay to shoot them. Guys. There was no need to charge yet. I... Man, Eddie is tearing it up. Eddie fucking rules, man. So these guys, they're feral, which is why they appeared as hostile, and I get ca I get positive karma for killing them, but... And there's the eyeball of a feral ghoul. But, uh, it did appear that they had an actual blockade, which to me does not suggest that they're feral. They seem to be, you know... Uh, ash pile is what's left by energy weapons. Or there's like a goo pile, can be, that's a laser weapon, I think. You get goo piles from plasma weapons. Yeah, but they're not behaving like they're feral and mindless, they're... This looks like it was organized as a blockade by sentient ghouls, and there are such things. I don't think I've come across any sentient ghouls in this particular game, so if you've never played a Fallout game before, 
and my LP is your first exposure to the Fallout universe, then you'd be kind of surprised by this. I, I don't think this game was designed with the intention that anybody would be playing it who's never played a Fallout game before. Uh, so much for surprise. Eddie appears to have infinite ammo, too, which is pretty awesome. And I love that music. So there's another ash pile. A rebar club. With, um... It's a rebar club that has a uh, two-drink minimum. Uh -huh. Nightkin? I don't know what Nightkin are. Uh, I guess that's something. There's very few... In these, new, in these Bethesda games, there's very few things that we've come across that were not introduced in the previous Interplay Fallout games. So Nightkin might be something from Fallout 2, which I've never played or seen played, or from Fallout Tactics. Uh, I've mentioned Bobo is thinking about LPing Fallout 3. Uh, I've been watching Grimoth's LP of the original Fallout game. So I'm learning so I mean, because I've just never seen it before, really. And This place is not really that interesting, but usually these... Oh, they'll have this little... I see, I see this big chunk of metal and think it's something else, and it's like, oh, it's Veronica, because... There's a dead ghoul. Now that suggests that this ghoul was actually um, Laser RCW. Bright Brotherhood robe. Is this a ghoul that was in the Brotherhood? But either way, that was a sentient ghoul because it was wearing armor. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No, my dear. You're getting a. Uh, a laser weapon which does not appear to have taken over for you from the laser rifle. She's gonna stick with the power armor but now she feels like dressing like what she actually is which oh drugs. I almost missed the probably the most valuable loot here. I sometimes playing through this game and Fallout 3 was the same way. I got the impression that I was just finding stuff that was supposed to represent a plot point and just not picking up on it. Definitely in this game because I went through Novak and I had no idea what was going on. But even in Fallout 3, like if you find the right terminals and read the right log entries, you get a much better idea of what's going on. With you just find a corpse someplace with some unique item on it, and you find out oh you were actually supposed to, like gas station out in the middle of nowhere, but you were supposed to follow a whole series of clues to get there, and it was where some guy was going to go meet with some other guy, and then it turned bloody, and... You know, I should save. It's been a while. See, I didn't really... I'd love to have a sniper rifle. Probably do have a sniper rifle. I just haven't... Didn't think to bring it with me for this whole thing. I got the varmint rifle, but it has such crappy stats. Nice. Get back, guys. Uh, get back? Well, never mind. I guess we're not doing that. I'm not sure if I cause an enemy's death by getting my uh, allies to shoot at it if I gain, the, if I have the karma shift. Probably do. Otherwise, I could engage... you In this game, you can't kill children, as... Uh, Certainly we've seen you can do in Fallout, those of you who are watching the same LPs I am. But, um... 
Yeah, if you start attacking people with high karma and bring your own... And then get your henchmen to finish them off, I believe you're still going to suffer karma penalties. We have discovered Repcon Test Site. This might be what some of the stuff we've been reading about in that other... In their headquarters will actually come into play. See, these guys don't have weapons, but they do carry drugs. They carry bottle caps, which I find even more puzzling. Human flesh. Why not? I will start a human flesh collection. Now... Is this good enough for now? I mean, I found it. I could go in and explore, but I'm getting karma, and right now I don't need karma, so... It's like I might want to come back and deal with this later if, I, if I'm if i forced to do things that would reduce my karma. Also, he added that as a quest marker, but I don't think I... I don't think killing all the ghouls in there is going to protect the town. There's no specific, if you kill the lead ghoul, this town would be much safer thing happening, so. Yeah. I just hit the Mass Effect reload, or I should say Mass Effect 2 and 3 reload button, since Mass Effect 1's, uh, you can't just press and hold the fire button constantly. system is totally different from what they did in later games. I don't think there was anything wrong with the way they did it in Mass Effect. I'm not sure why that had to be changed, but whatever. Well, you know, now we got the Repcon test site. We can come check that out later. In the meanwhile, I... Meantime, I... Okay, it doesn't look like we can head up to Hidden Valley straight from here. Whoa, that scared the crap out of me. Not as bad as that one mantis. See, we weren't even detected. Where am I, where are my allies? They are killing stuff that isn't really that close to me. Oh, see, she got all the way over there. Yeah, they got turned around. They didn't follow me to where to where I'm at. Well, they didn't follow me to where I'm at, which basically means they didn't follow me. I was going to leave this place alone, but now it looks like i got to go get my companions out of there. They're over there engaging and killing enemies. I didn't get a karma boost for that one, so maybe it really is only the ones I kill directly. No, you can't even get there from... They went a whole different way. Well, now they they found me, so that's nice. I would like to loot the corpse of whoever they killed, but... that lead up to some place? Who did you guys kill? I mean, they killed a ghoul. That's fine. The place doesn't really seem that dangerous, frankly. Hey, launch music signal found. I will have to check that out off screen to make sure it doesn't have copyrighted music. Yeah, now I feel like finding that um, Hidden Valley or whatever it is. Isn't that where... Is that where the, um, somewhere on this map, there was a ra there's a radio station for the Super Mutants? I've been wa waiting, wondering when we were going to run into that place. Hidden Valley, where they're, where they're, they're neutral towards us. Let's over to the skydiving place and try to find Hidden Valley. Because I'm not sure now exactly when it got put on our map, either. 
we can find Hidden Valley, that might be a, a, a good time to end the video, too. Just add some, yeah, it'll be an exploring video, we're just adding some stuff to our uh, quick travel locations. What's this going to be? Maybe it's powder gangers. I haven't fought them in a while. More likely it's rad scorpions or bloat flies or something. Yeah, bloat flies. Okay. Guys, don't don't waste a ton of ammo on bloat flies, okay? Somebody Oh, okay, not bloat flies. It is uh powder gangers. Oh, we've got a combination of What sucks here is that they killed a powder ganger and now I, I can't... They keep killing stuff in such a way that I don't get to loot the corpse. Here we are. Oh, you poor guy! You were left over from a previous powder ganger fight and just, uh... Well, unless you're both left over. Bunch of stuff we'll have to get rid of later. Alright, well, let's not worry too much about the bloat flies. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this road until it takes a turn off to the right, and then we'll get on that. And that's probably... we probably can see right now where it... More powder gangers... I was about to say, I wonder if this is a powder ganger place that we're heading for, but, uh... It would appear that just using, uh, manual f firing, they're... They're pretty forgiving about, um... Having you hit stuff. Yeah, I mean, seriously, I, it didn't line that up at all. I had that, then... Yeah, the powder gangers don't like me. There's a shock. I thought I'd killed them all, like, literally. I thought we'd never see them again because I went to their main base of operations and completely wiped it out. Leather armor... Well, wherever those other powder gangers were, they seem to be gone now. My biggest fear is that I'm suddenly going to run across some randomly placed explosives, because it seems to be going pretty well otherwise. Other than that happening, which it hasn't. So I'd say it's gone really well on that score, actually. I was going to say, maybe this new place we're heading towards is a powder ganger place, but it says neutral, and uh, there's no way that the powder gangers are neutral with us. The powder gangers flat out hate us. And they're, once again, they're shooting power ganger, powder gangers I didn't even know about. And I'm getting the experience bonus for being well rested, that's nice. So is he over here somewhere? I mean, you killed somebody over here. No, you killed a black powder ganger. Another varmint rifle. So, ah, uh, there's, there's this. Gotta loot all these corpses, man. Oh man, I lost uh, my bearings when I was on the when I was up on the road. I could see. Um. Eddie is the best. I'm so glad we got Eddie. I like Veronica too. I really do. Uh. What little personality they they took the time to give her. The fact that she just wants a dress and really badly. Like she's she's smart. She's not necessarily that great at talking to people, but she really wants a dress. Something says like, "Don't fuck with me," but it's also oh, it's sexy. Yeah, but she's I like it. But uh, Eddie's freaking awesome. Fallout Three gave you some okay companions, I guess. Yeah. See, this is not something I'm seeing anywhere. 
I think we're about to find a new location at the end of this little road. But I'm worried now. We're fighting. We're coming across powder gangers, and they, I believe, would leave like landmines and stuff. See, we already found the prison. This looks like another prison. I don't know how many prisons the NCR has built. Or this might be like a military base. Or something that the powder gangers have turned into a military base. Absolutely no entry. Surely it's going to pop up and say you have discovered soon. Music's gotten pretty ominous too. Well, we're hidden. We have to go tell Easy Pete we found some long fused dynamite. He gets excited about that kind of thing. Don't you, Easy Pete? Nope. No. I guess he doesn't get that excited after all. I don't even really know if I want to explore the place. I just want to add it to my map at this point. Or is it like a... I'm not finding any more powder gangers around either. Search Dawes. Should I know who Dawes is? Write in and tell me if I should know who Dawes is. And you know, while you're writing in to tell me, tell me who Dawes is. Don't just say yes, JG. You should know who Dawes is. Open door to visitor center. Well, so much for what I was gonna go do in this video. Um. And if you believed I was going to go find Vegas in this video, then sorry, but, um... Is this... I, I still have yet to add anything to my, uh, map with this. Have we already been in here? NCR Correctional Facility. Wasn't this... Wouldn't this be marked on the damn map, though? I mean, yeah, we came in here and we killed everyone. This is the NCR Correctional Facility again. I thought this was already on our map, though. Oh. We just got way off the beaten track, is all. Yeah, okay, we're, well, we're obviously vilified here. It's the frickin' powder gangers we killed like I don't know how many dozens of them this is why I didn't think there'd be any more showing up ever I thought we'd killed them all the last time we were here and there's a couple more hanging around over here unless they're like bloat flies or something I don't care now I wanna really wanna go find that other place even though we're now over half an hour um, I mean, I could call it a video and do another video, but I think this probably needs to be my last video tonight. So let's, uh, let's make it go a little long, and we'll, we'll go find Hidden Valley. This must be just a different approach, because that gate was closed. Yeah, so, okay, I, you can tell I'm lost. I'm freaking going back to locations I've already been. I could swear that didn't show up on the world map, though. I'll go back and check the video later. If I even bother to do that, I'm sure that it will be, be all over the place. Blindly obvious that I'd already been here, but it seemed like that little road dead ended as though there was going to be something there, but I didn't have anything on my world map for there. But I, I want to meet this, like, this, uh, Super Mutant Samantha or whatever, whatever it was called. And I think that might be up here somewhere on this map. That radio station has to be coming from someplace we can visit. 
whether or not you know now there was a lot of stuff about how humans they don't want humans and humans can't survive there maybe it's trespassers will be shot so I don't think we'll get a very warm welcome when we go to visit the super mutants but uh You have discovered Hidden Valley. Still says neutral. But there's also a hostile. Alright, well, I'll just save my game and go in far enough to see what's going on. I'd love to be able to holster my weapon and walk in and start off on, on good terms. But, you know, I'm already detecting hostiles. And the only way I know of to find out what these things are before they start killing me is to click the VATS button. That's why you keep hearing that noise that's, I'm sure, driving you guys nuts. Bark scorpions, well... Bark scorpions I can kind of deal with. So I'm not even going to bother. Eddie's got it. Oh, that's a piece of a bark scorpion. I thought it was like a little baby bark scorpion that was emerging. So we seem to be fairly well accepted here, but, uh, I mean, it's a neutral, but I haven't found any sentient beings who could potentially have neutral or any other feelings towards us. As much messing around as I did with the Great Cons, you know that if we find super mutants, I need to check it out. And I would consider that an appropriate excuse to hold off on Vegas. I'm no longer well rested. Just as things are getting interesting. More bark scorpions. So this would seem to be the... the Bark scorpion gauntlet that I need to go through to get any further here. Deeper into the hidden valley. Maybe these super mutants keep bark scorpions as pets? Maybe this has nothing to do with super mutants and I'm jumping the gun. I'm just running out of regions of the map that I haven't explored at least a little. Oh, uh, we're gonna go so far over. Come on, JG. Either cut it off or just start a new video. I just wanna get a sense of what's coming up next time, you know? I'm not going to clear out all of these hostels, but... No, there's, ooh, there's radio stuff up here. Radio towers. Evolved Centaur! That suggests super mutants, although we came across those before. Again, this crossfire here. We're definitely getting some rads from being here.
Oh, I thought you were dead. Sorry, buddy. I'll take care of. I'll take care of you. Wow, that was kind of weird. Sneak attack critical? Oh yeah. Getting pretty close to another level. Alright, I really should have ended the video and started another one now, but... Yeah, th this has got to be it. The Hidden Valley, I mean, they're, they're asking super mutants to come here. I don't know whether or not they've actually got any super mutants here. And I know that we didn't loot all of the centaur corpses that we found, but... Oh, this could be bad, trying to find, because obviously there's going to be some kind of path up we have to follow that co coils around and stuff, but this it's dark. I don't know if this is going to work. Well, so far, so good. Yeah, now that we've fought all those guys, I'm really starting to think that, and seeing a bunch of radio equipment, I'm thinking we're finally going to see some super mutants if there are any in this game. And as exciting as that prospect is for me as a veteran of at least one previous Fallout game, uh, they are pretty much going to be hostile, and there's every chance that they'll be setting traps. They are super mutants are smart enough to set like landmines and stuff. I think if I see a super mutant, that will finally cause me to pause the video or to, to end the video, so that we can have something exciting for next time. Let's check the local map. Scorpions. I was so excited. Oh, and somebody else gets the kill. They really do seem to like Bark Scorpions, whoever's running this place. Might be the Bark Scorpions, just like their headquarters. It's a giant rad scorpion, not one of those little wimpy ones you sometimes see. What hit? What did you get hit by? Are you throwing weapons? Might as well be throwing rocks. I think I did pretty good damn. Oh, she used up all of her laser. Oops. She used up all of her ammo. That's probably not good news for me, actually. There we go. Oh, this is the guy I need to be worried about, though. Hey, you had a good gun. You just, uh... Yeah, but I can understand her uh, issue. Oh, this is all stuff I collected. She said she preferred uh, fighting melee anyway, didn't she? Oh, just don't die. Oh, this one's a giant. It could kill her.
Ooh, a bark scorpion hunter. Cursed Helmsley. There's a lot of giant irradiated crap. Okay, well... So she doesn't have any ranged weapons. I'm not going to fix that right this second. I've discovered Scorpion Gulch, have I? You know, I kind of had that feeling. Oh, man. It's going... Oh, we're already at, like... 45 minutes. It's been a video and a half. Okay, well... Doesn't look like my... My fond hopes for, um... Looks like my fond hopes for finding uh, the Super Mutants and their radio station are not working out just yet. Probably. It's probably around here somewhere, but, um... Hidden Valley Bunker? Well, it's, it seems like we got to start heading back the way we came, like we took a wrong turn. Because now we're in a whole different Scorpion Gulch area. And uh, it's not really getting us any closer to what I suddenly decided we need to do, which is find the Super Mutants. The fact that it says neutral suggests to me that you can get on good terms with them, which I like. I, that would be fun. It would be nice if there's a game where you can actually be friends with the Super Mutants. Uh, but it, because they did seem to be like pacifist Super Mutants, it's kind of weird from the radio broadcast. At any rate, though, folks, it's over for now. Uh, this video went super long. Apologies. When we come back, um, hopefully I can figure out how to either deal with these super mutants or I'll just decide that because the next time I come back it'll probably be the beginning of a fairly lengthy play session uh, that I'll actually just get on with Vegas. <laughs> I've promised that so many times now. You're a fool to believe me. But eventually I'm going to have to go to Vegas. If I ever want to play Mass Effect, which I want to do, i got to knock this game out. Anyway, folks, uh, that's it for right now. I'm Mysterious JG. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming with me to Scorpion Gulch, and I'll see you next time.